jadi masukan atau pakai kondomin dulu? Caranya gimana tuh? On the Indonesian island of Batam, sex is big business. In this brothel, they're learning the basics in a sex education talk. Jadi kalau menggunakan ini, yang biasa orang kalau bisa lebih jadi kamu pun senang, anda pun kuat. Amat mulutnya. Here, Islam's strict moral code is non-existent, and any laws protecting these young women are ignored. Most were brought from distant villages and sold into sexual slavery for a few hundred dollars. Customers here, like these men, rarely use condoms, leaving these women prone to all sorts of diseases. Rui and Marche are volunteers with Pry, a non-government organization working to protect children's rights in Batam. Of the estimated 15,000 traffic sex workers here, nearly half of them are thought to be children. Pry gives classes like this whenever they get access. There's not much more they can do. The brothels here are run by gangsters. Batam Island was set up as a free trade zone in 1978 to attract investment from nearby Malaysia and Singapore. With the development came exploitation of every kind. Batam is a city for Turis-turis yang kaya dari luar hanya menggunakan untuk tempat pariwisata seks sebenarnya dan judi. Jadi social worker Ramzi Nadeka set up Pry four years ago when he first came to Batam to tackle child exploitation. Ini bukan daerah yang dibuat oleh pemerintah untuk apa untuk menarik uang sebanyak mu. Nah masalahnya yang dia korbankan itu perempuan dan anak-anak. Prostitution is illegal in Indonesia, but there are literally hundreds of karaoke bars and massage parlors selling sex in Batam. Each month, 3,000 men come here for cheap sex. For Malaysians and Singaporeans, it's just a half-hour ferry ride away. Masyarakat tidak peduli, masyarakat tidak kuat, bahkan tokoh-tokoh agama bisa diam. Di sini tidak akan ada pembakaran lokalisasi yang ada pemindahan lokalisasi-lokalisasi liar menjadi lokalisasi resmi dengan nama lain rehabilitasi bahkan kita menemukan banyak sekali anak-anak I'm on my way to this so-called rehabilitation center I can't go in as a journalist, so I'm going in undercover as a social worker. Ruli, the social worker who visits brothels, wants me to meet Lena and Diana, two children who have been working there as sex slaves for eight months. She thinks they're around 14 years old. Sama sekali tidak tahu dia usia berapa, 10 tahun atau 15 tahun. Yang jelas saya dia belum mengalami menstruasi atau datang bulan. Uh, datang ke Batam pun tidak diketahui juga oleh orang tuanya bahwa dia akan kerja seperti yang dialami sekarang ini. The local mafia tightly controls this government-built compound. I can't film openly here, so I'm going in with a hidden camera. The construction is barely finished on these brothels when the girls are purchased and they open for business. Thank <laughs> you. 
The girls are asleep. Ruli asks their friend Tia to wake them. Tia doesn't want to be identified. She's only been here for a month, but is like a big sister to the girls. This is Lena. Now that she's awake, she comes and joins us. But Deanna needs a little more coaxing. Tia says Lena is willing to escape, but Deanna is afraid. Both Ruli and Tia try unsuccessfully to convince Deanna. Ruli can't be seen helping the brothel's prize assets to flee. As a foreigner, I'm attracting more and more attention. For our safety, Ruli decides we have to go. This is Lena and Deanna on the porch of the brothel. Lena is on the left in red, and Deanna is next to her. They were brought here from the island of Madura by a trafficker and sold to this brothel for about $400 each. Ruli now knows why Diana is afraid to leave. Jadi tidak tahu sama sekali kabar beritanya orang tuanya sampai detik ini. Jadi kenapa dia takut pulang? Karena takut oleh orang tuanya laki-laki atau ayahnya kalau bekerja seperti ini pulang-pulang akan dibunuh. Back at Pry, the organization for children's rights run by Ramses, Ruli tells them Tia is going to try and convince the girls to escape. Tia is now their only link to Lena and Diana. Karena yang sering curhat dengan si Tia. Si Tia menyarankan, nanti mbak kalau memang ya, si Tia akan menghubungi kita, atau nanti malam ini, atau besok pagi, hanyalah si itu waktu. Kalau besok nggak bisa ya, nggak tahu ya. Biasanya mungkin besok, kita nggak susah nanti ke sini, karena tugas dia banyak lagi mungkin di Nabu ya. The people at Pry know there are thousands of other girls in Batam who need their help. Inside this karaoke bar, women and girls sit in what they call an aquarium, waiting to be sold for sex. Kalau yang umur 15 kan masih miss katanya, masih oke, masih lugu, bisa diapa-apain. Ada kepuasan tersendiri katanya. Twenty-five-year-old Lily gave me an insider's perspective. She's what they call a mummy, someone who manages the girls and offers them to customers. She would only talk to me if her identity was protected. Waktu itu pertama saya kerja pertama, mak agak ragu juga untuk menawarkan seorang wanita seperti saya berkata servis oke. Bukan sekian, sotem sekian itu ada pertanyaan batin pada diri saya. Memang saya menangis pertama. Ada untuk yang biasanya kamu yang dicari yang kayak gitu itu yang masih kecil, yang baru, yang masih kecil. Biasanya laku setiap hari bisa, bisa bukan terus hampir satu hari kadang-kadang bukan dua kali kalau yang kecil-kecil, yang imut-imut lah. Even though prostitution is illegal, and despite the obvious presence of hundreds of brothels in Batam. Deputy Police Chief Heru won't concede there's a problem. You said you're not aware of any karaoke bars or nightclubs or massage that have prostitutes. Is that correct?